Um, hi guys, welcome back to the Vitality Daily Edit. I'm Nikki Fogdemore, the Vitality Coach, and I'm here with my dear friend Lane Beachley. And I'm a seven times world champion so far. Yeah, not to, not to mention that. <laughs> seven times world champion surfer, leader in life, and you know, the advocate for winning at life really, I think. I am, yeah. I like to help people win at life by getting uncomfortable with their discomfort, or actually comfortable with their discomfort. I want people to take ownership of the choices that they've made to start making different choices. Because one of my favorite quotes is it's choice, not chance, that determines your destiny. And a lot of people don't take any ownership of their choice and then wonder why they're not living a life they love. And I just love that. And you know, we were speaking to her, we were like, what are we gonna have on this daily edit? It's been a long time since we've been on the show together and it's all about we're comfortable with discomfort together. So we, re we really have these conversations that are a little bit like, whoa, but we're willing to break through that and to keep going, right? Yeah, absolutely. And when it comes to winning at life, you've got to be really clear about what you want, but then you have to build that dream team around you of people that do actually support you through those uncomfortable times and challenge you but bring out the best in you you know the the opposite of those people are, well what actually what I refer to those people as your honesty barometers yeah the opposite of those people are your dream thieves and life vampires they're the ones that drag you down suck the life out of you tell that you never make it and you're never good enough I always feel like I'm just sliding down <laughs> when I think about those people and I think that's a really good point so if you're listening to this today identify who are your dream stealers and the ones that don't uplift you you've got friends around you that will ask you the right questions for the right intent yes and you know when you have each other's back and you know mm. the questions are coming from a place of purpose and care and compassion not to make you uncomfortable because they want to expose you and so see told you so and I think <laughs> like one of the things with human nature is people are always going to test your conviction when you announce something that you're willing to do so you have to be clear to explain and to stand in your truth that's it yeah and it all comes from like you said compassion and ultimately honesty you've got to be honest with others but to do that you have to first be honest with yourself yeah. Which means owning your shit, right? It means owning your discomfort, owning the times when things aren't going well and being 100% okay with not being okay. And we were also talking before, Lane and I, about the fact that we might go through these elements of discomfort seven times in a month because our level of growth in a day. year on a day. <laughs> and that, you know, it's the Buddhist monk certificate. You don't just get a certificate when you've done your Buddhist monk you know, courses and come out in, in some kind of enlightened state. Namaste. You know, namaste. You actually have to practice it daily. Yeah. And the difference with what Lane and I do is that we practice daily and we're aware of those little ego thoughts. We're like, whoop, there's Bob again. <laughs> there's the, the worm. There's the worm. <laughs> and, and also make sure that you have friends around you or mentors or advocates or sponsors that you can have honest discussions with. It's, it's hard, but boy, is it worth it. Totally worth it. And the thing is that Nikki and I, we're here to bring the best out in you. That's why we're having this discussion. But ultimately, no one can bring the best out in you other than you. You have to give yourself permission to do the work yourself. We're here to support you, but unless you're doing the work, it'll amount to nothing. Right, and that's exactly true. You have to master the art of you, which is something that Lane is really passionate about doing. With